Big Three. Chicken Morning Show on V103 to ATL's number one for hip-hop, R&B, and throwbacks. Ladies and gentlemen, an icon, a legend has fell through the building, F. Gary Gray. What up, sir? Hey, what's up, man? How you been? I've been great. How about you? Good to see you, sir. Likewise. It's been a minute. It, it has been a minute. It's I been a minute. I'm bumping to you in the strangest place. I'm like, what? That? <laughs> right, 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 right. But it's good to see you, man. Absolutely. Uh, brand new movie, Lift, uh, on Netflix. Uh, drops this Friday, starring Kevin Hart. Yes. Tell me about the movie. Uh, it's a global heist movie. Is it? We had a premiere a couple nights ago, and it was it played fantastic. Okay. Uh, it's 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 a global heist movie, and we have a great crew. We shot around the world, and I can't wait for the people to see it. You've had a, a history of these incredibly diverse movies that still feature us. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. How have you been able to do that? <laughs> well, it's us. I mean, you know, the optics are important, and, you know, we want to represent. And so I love the the, the heist genre. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we started it with Set It Off with right. Jada and Latifah, and we went on to the Italian job with Wahlberg mm -hmm. and Mos Def. And now I'm continuing that tradition with Lyft. And we, you know, we have Kevin Hart and Google and Batha Raw. We got no uh, 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 Billy Magnuson, Vincent D'Onofrio. We have Sam Worthington. We got a great cast in this one. So, like I said, I can't wait for you guys to see it. What was life on, on set like? Like, who was acting a fool? Who was behaving? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? On this one, it was quite calm. It, mm. was a, it was a challenge for me, but the cast was calm, man. I've seen some... Uh, some drama in some of the other movies, but this one, this was a, this was pretty mellow as it relates to the cast. What was your drama? What was your challenge? Uh, you know, it's always a challenge when you're shooting overseas, man. We took mm. this on the road, so this we shot this in Venice, Italy, nice, and also in London, England, and we shot it in the, uh, the Italian Alps and and in Ireland. So when you're on the road, you know. It comes with, you know, those challenges, you know. And, and there was nowhere <laughs> in one of those amazing cities I could have been an extra. Oh, man. <laughs> I got you on the next one. Okay. I got you on the next one. <laughs> I'm just saying, there was no way I could have delivered some coffee <laughs> or a passenger on a plane That's or something. That's a good point. That's a good point. I shouldn't even be doing you like that, right? I'm just saying, we go back. We do go back, bro. We do. One I of my favorite one. funny stories, which wasn't funny at the time, Okay, is... This is a really old story. When the, uh, it used to be the Hotel Meridian, was it the Meridian yet? Yeah. A across the street, there used to be a fat burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Meridian. <laughs> it was the Meridian. Yeah. It was, well, the Nico Meridian okay. in LA. Everybody used to, I used to stay there because Fat Burger was across the street. Right. And it was the late night. I'm hungry. I ain't really got to order this $80 burger from the Nico Hotel. Right. I can go across the street. I run into F. Gary Gray at the Fat Burger. And this is back when they had, we had, this is pre real cell phones. We, <laughs> everyone had these little Casio phone books. It was oh. like, you, if you, the, oh. everyone. <laughs> You know, I forgot that. Everyone had these little, it's like a little Casio computer, and you had all your contacts in it. And I'm talking to Gary, and we're about to exchange information. I bump into him somehow, and it goes. And you smashed it and broke. I forgot about that. <laughs> Had I remembered that, I wouldn't even show that. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's there was funny. no way to back them up. It was no way to back them up. And the screen cracked. I remember that. You have a great memory, I remember, way, bro. I, was, I felt so bad about it. I was like, oh, my you God. You should have felt bad. You know how expensive those <laughs> just... <laughs> hey, No, but no, no, no. That's... that's a, I, I, I forgave you. It was that. the equivalent of losing your phone and your contacts. That was the equivalent of it at the that, time. Yeah, it was. It, but it was all right, though. I figured it out. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate we still friends. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we good, we good, we good. F. Gary Gray is our host this morning. When we come back, we'll talk more about the new movie Lifts, which is uh, releasing on Netflix Friday, January 12th. I'm also going to present you with a real, a really difficult choice. Okay. You're going to have to kick out one of your favorite movies and say, one's got to go. Okay. When we come back, F. Gary Gray with the Big Ticket Morning Show next on B103. People say to B103, the ATL's number one for hip-hop, R&B, and throwbacks. Big Tick, big things. F. Gary Gray in the building. Hey.
Brand new movie, Lift, uh, releasing on Netflix Friday, January 12th, starring this Friday with Kevin Hart. You've had some uh, amazing movies, some of my favorite movies, to keep Thank it 100. Uh, Law Abiding Citizen, The Negotiator. Uh, and then there's the, the ones I feel like, okay, I'm going to present you with a difficult choice. All right. I'm going to give you four of your movies, and you got to kick one of them out. Okay. You never made it. You never were affiliated. It never happened. Okay. Friday. Straight out of Compton. Set it off. Law-abiding citizen. Wow. And when you say just kick it off, just like, like I never It wasn't your movie. You, had, you, like, you, you just got to get rid of one. Friday. Oh, I thought no, you no, said no, Friday. No, 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 I, I, no, no. I'm, I'm, Friday, I'm looking at the choices. Friday, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Set it off. Set it off. Law-abiding citizen. Ooh. Okay. I, I I love all those movies for different reasons, but if I had to put one on pause, I wouldn't kick it off. I'd probably put Law Abiding Citizen on on on, on 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 pause. Okay, just for just for a second, right? Because Friday was my first movie. Mm. Um, I think Latifah did an amazing job and set it off. Cleo it was, was pro- It was probably <laughs> one of the most emotional scenes I've ever shot in my entire life. Mm. Moments in, in cinema. And then what was the other one? Uh, Straight Outta Compton. Straight Outta Compton. So Straight Outta Compton, that was our lives, man. I, 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 Facts. I, we, 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 we grew up. That was part of my story as much as Cube and Dre and all of them. So, you know, I, I got to put Law Abiding Citizen on pause just for a second. And okay. when we're done with this interview, we going back to it. <laughs> we're going to resume. Um, <laughs> you talk about Friday. There's been a lot of conversation about a possible last Friday. Oh wow! Uh, is what I've heard a tentative title might be. That's interesting. You know, that's that's all cute, man. I, I was involved with creating the franchise, and I just did the first one, and um, I just got to give props for Cube for keeping it going. But I have no idea what they're going to do with that next. Would you want to be involved with that? I mean, sure. I mean, if if, if the story's right, you know, of course, it, mm-hmm. it's 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 a classic franchise. You know, it's just you know. What makes the story right for you? Um, it de- it depends. I-, I love to learn. I'm just a student, man. And so I didn't have the resources to go to college or film school. Mm. So what I-, I gravitate to different things because I love to learn. So for- with every film, I learn something different. So it's all about education for me. Okay, I like it. Yeah. Uh, F. Gary Gray's in the building. New movie, Lift, uh, starring Kevin Hart, dropping on Netflix this Friday, uh, January 12th. What do you think the biggest uh, challenge facing the film industry is? Is it AI or something else? I think AI is going to affect everything, but I think it's just quality. Honestly, you know, I think that COVID really put a big, um, just had a big impact on the industry. People couldn't really work. They couldn't really flow. And so a lot of movies that are being released today you just don't feel them. I'm not feeling a lot of stuff that's released today, and I and I don't blame the creators as much as I, I just blame the time. And I'm hoping that it's just a cycle, and we'll get past the cycle, and we'll get back into the rhythm of making you know you know better movies. So quality in what way? Like the cinematography? Or? No, no, no. Just I mean. You know, a few you know, not too long ago, we didn't know if the world was going to end with all the pandemic and all that type of stuff. <laughs> right. uh, but but I think that. Um, I think people can focus now on being creative, you know, and 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 that's what that's what I think is coming next. I think more focus, more creativity, and I, and I think you know we're not scrambling for our lives, you know, okay. that type thing. So you mentioned creativity and mm-hmm. things like that. I'm curious to know how you feel about these Tubi movies. Uh oh, <laughs> Tubi movies. Okay, so I I. I I've never seen a Tubi movie. <laughs> I, Ever? I've never seen Not a Tubi movie. Not even just for fun? I've been, I've been working on Lyft for probably two plus years. Okay. And so when I work, I'm I'm just just focused on that. Locked in. Yeah, I'm locked, super locked in. Can I describe a Tubi movie? You can. They're usually not the greatest um, uh, looking. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the script is not that strong. Okay. <laughs> the acting isn't that strong, okay. but they're entertaining. Okay. Well, I like the entertaining part, but if they're not that good, I shouldn't be watching it. <laughs> <laughs> F. Gary Gray is our guest this morning on a big ticket morning show. Um, it, 
<laughs> when did you know you made it? Wow. It's just different stages in my career, right? Mm-hmm. But when I made it in the film industry? Yeah. Wow, that's a good question. Um, like, was there a moment or something that happened of like, oh, okay, I'm him? Oh, uh, man, it's, it's a really hard question to answer, only because... You know, you do a short film, and then you get your first movie. Friday's my first movie, so I, I was really grateful to get that because I got that when I was 23 years old. Wow. Then set it off as an, just an, a major jump into action. Italian job took me around the globe. Um, Fast and Furious took me around the globe. Um, Straight out of Compton was, you know, a critically acclaimed film that, you know, had a lot of meaning for us and the culture. Mm-hmm. And so um, it's just different points, but I'd probably say maybe after set it off. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, we all took notice that Friday, and then every movie after. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I think it was noticeable mm-hmm. and 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 laudable that you brought these movies to life that were kind of black movies, but kind of not black movies. What's a black movie? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you don't you disagree? I, I you know, I don't I I, I maybe maybe I, you know, it's not just a compliment. I, I just I you know, it's funny. I just look at and it. And I don't mean black in a derogatory no, you way. Can. I meant you the can cuz black is great. I'm well, absolutely. Just, I'm, I, I just I it's funny because some people say, you know, Neg- Negotiator is a mainstream movie, but it's starring Samuel Jackson. But that's what I that's exactly what I'm saying. Right. I feel like it's it's a black movie that's not a black movie. I see. <laughs> well, I, I I tend to just look at it, look look at them as just kind of creative um, efforts, and so you know we we had you can call Friday a black movie, mm. but it also it was it was important in this way. A lot of people came out of Friday, right? Tucker, Facts. Chris Tucker, Bernie Mac. Facts. Um, I mean, I mean, not not that that's where they started, but you know, I, I was lucky enough to work with a cast that you know a lot of them to this day are doing quite well, or a lot of them really blew up, right? And did things in you know our arena, the black arena, and then the mainstream as well. Mm. So um, it's. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, mean, to your you credit, know, you they're, blurred they're, that line they're, very no, well. No, I mean, but listen, when I go, if I go to, I've been, I went to Russia at one point, and mm-hmm. they were quote, they they were quoting Friday. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got knocked. Up, I, I, you know, I can't say it here, <laughs> but like, you can go down the list. So it's it, it seems like, you know, even though I shot Friday on the block that I grew up on, mm. it traveled. You know, it traveled around the world. Right. And so it left the block. We, you know, we, we, it, 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 it transcended the block. Is that the most gratifying part of it? Oh, you, oh, Friday? Yeah. Um, it's 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 probably one of them. I don't think we could predict that it would be that successful. Mm. I, I mean, I, I see, you know, Chris Tucker sometimes do interviews, and he's like, he thought his career was over after he saw the first <laughs> cut. They saw the first cut, and he was like, oh, no, no, no. Him and Faison, but then when it came out and people, you know, they, they responded, I think it all did well for all of us. Amen. You know, and that's probably one of the more gratifying things is that we all started off as kids doing this without a lot of experience, you know, and um, everybody stuck with it, and, you know, most of the people walked away very successful. Cool. Well, listen, we're looking uh, forward to the next installation in the uh, filmography. Lift is dropping this Friday on Netflix, January 12th, starring Kevin Hart. You need to go see it. It's a heist movie. It's a thing. What's next for you after this? Oh, uh, man, I'm just focused on this. I want to give, you know, my my cast uh, 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 the props. Kevin was great. Google and Batha Raw was amazing. Mm. Vincent D'Onofrio, Sam Worthington. Uh, Billy Magnuson. I, I just go down the list. It's, 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 it's an amazing cast. So, you know, I want people to check it out. And if you supported some of my movies and you've heard them during this interview, um, I think you'd be really happy with seeing this one. Okay. And Kevin's not really the traditional Kevin not at in all. this movie. Not at all. He's made a transition. Part of the reason why I did it is because he wanted to make a transition from comedic actor to a more grounded action uh, actor, and he did a great job. I think people are going to really be surprised okay. at what he delivers. That's what's happening. Good That's, to see you, bro. Likewise. Happy New Year. All right, brother. F. Gary Gray's in the building. Please support Lyft and drop it on Netflix this Friday, January 12th, featuring Kevin Hart. It's a situation. Good to see you. We'll be back with more Big Ticket Morning Show right after this on V103. V103. 